Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Oh, you all right? Here, let me help you up. Sorry about that. I was just stopping for a second to catch my breath. I've been walking around town all day. Oh, I was just doing a few things for my boss. You know how that could be sometimes. <laughs> I'm Vortex. What's your name? Oh, nice name. So, I'm guessing you've never been around these parts before. Because you look kind of lost. Oh, alright. Uh, as long as you're not lost or anything. I mean, I could have helped you walk around here. I mean, I, I do live here. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Ain't you that human that fell from Earth and is now stuck here? No way. I can't believe I ran into you. What the hell are you doing down here? And why are you down here in the first place? Really, you fell from Earth from a portal into Lucifer's house? Boy, that must have been a pretty messed up day, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, I would have been scared shitless if I would, you know, just suddenly popped into the King of Hell's house. I mean, shit, it's the King of Hell. Really? You two are tight now? Ain't that something? Well, uh... I mean, I can't really say that I'm, like, surprised that someone like you could be friends with a, you know, a sin and whatever, because, well... <laughs> not to brag or anything, but I'm dating one. Yeah, I'm dating, um... The sin of uh, gluttony. Her name's Beelzebub. But I call her Bees. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually always out of her house all the time. Just spending time with her and whatnot. Uh, she's always throwing some type of party, so she always invites me over. But secretly, I think she just sees me more as a, like, a bodyguard of some sort. Because, well... Although that is my job, I just sometimes think she just sees me as a bodyguard instead of her boyfriend. You know what I'm trying to say here? Right, right. Oh, really now? You're trying to see all the sins? Why's that? Or is that like, confidential between you and, uh, Lucifer. Oh, you're trying to find out who opened those portals. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to check a lot more than just the sins, because there's a lot of people who have access to the living world. Yeah, I mean... Not all the sins have access to the living world. Well, I mean, all of them do. So I guess it's a good place to start. But there's also lots of other, like, richy, preppy people out there who have, like, Necronomicons and stuff like that. 
they can open portals anytime they want to. Yeah. I do remember this uh, one chick that I was talking to. Her name's Luna. And her dad has like this book of some sort. Or at least I still think he has a book. I'm not too sure. But he has a book and he contains a spell to open a portal to the living world. And I guess that's how he does his job. Although I think it's a pretty weird way to get a job. Or do the, the job. Because, well... The guy's also sleeping with a uh, prince of some sort. I can't remember his name, though. It's like... Stolas? Stole... Stole... Stool? I don't know. It was something like that. Stolas! That's his name. I, okay, I remember now. Well, you talk to him, too? Oh, really? <laughs> no shit. They're like, done, done? Wow. You know, f my boss said that he was a complete asshole, but breaking the heart of a prince, whew, that's something. Well, I mean, of course, it's just like, this is like a big thing for him. I'm pretty sure he was dating a prince. Of course, he's still going to have a little bit of feelings. I mean, the last time I broke up with somebody, I still had a little bit of attachment issues back then. But that was like years ago. So I'm like, hey, okay, up here now. <laughs> oh, you want to try to meet Beelzebub? Um, hmm, you know, I did hear something about her wanting to throw another big party soon, so if I can give you my number, and I can, you know, text you when the whole party is going on, and then I can just, you know, let you know. Alright, cool. Can I see your phone? All right. So, how has your life been ever since you've, like, you know, fell down here? All right, there's my number in your phone. There you go. I'm surprised you're actually, like, alive. Because usually, the last time there was a human down here, or at least I remember, the that human kind of burnt up instantly. So I'm not even sure how you're alive. Oh yeah, it was gruesome as all hell. As soon as he stepped foot through a portal that some other demon made, I can't remember who it was, but once he stepped through the portal, he kind of like went up in flames. All I could smell was burnt skin, hair. Kind of smelled like, you know, what burnt hamburger meat like smells like or pork. Ugh. It's gruesome. Nasty. But yeah, you got my number right now. So if anything happens going on with the, that party, I'll text you. And if you ever want to hang out with somebody, I'm always open to hang out with, well, you. I wouldn't mind hanging out with the human. I mean, after all, with my job and whatever, I always go to the human world. And there's uh, parties and stuff I go to all the time. I could invite you to one of those parties, too. Since you're like a human and all, you're so used to being down here, it's good to, to get some fresh air once in a while. <laughs> Trust me, I might be a hellhound, but it's a lot better up there than it is down here. Even though there is some freaky shit going on up there sometimes. It's a lot better than it is down here, I can tell you that much. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, I'll text you if you ever want to like hang out at a party or something like that. And I'll keep in touch with you about Beelzebub's parties as well. Because, like I said, I'm not too sure when she wants to throw that party. But, whenever she does, I'll give you a text, alright? Alright. Well, I better get going, or my boss is probably going to kick my ass. <laughs> alright, see you later.